you know, I was thinking today while I was running. Um, other bands that I don't mention as much as I should because I love the bands. Like I was listening to like Breaking Benjamin today when I was running. Um, you guys like Breaking Benjamin? That Phobia album is. I mean, I like all their albums, um, but I think Phobia is my best. I think that's just the most consistent. Uh, all the um, the non-hit songs are still great. Like you, man, that song you is so freaking good. That's it's just got a nice slow build and then it just kind of erupts, you know, it's like an emotional eruption. That's what I call uh, you by Breaking Benjamin. Yeah. What what a, what's another band that I don't mention as much? I mention Silverchair all the time. I am a big Silverchair fan. Um, uh, there you go, Destiny. There you go. Yeah, I think that's. That's the song, everyone. Yeah, Destiny, right on top of it. Damn, I love that. That is freaking awesome. You know what? I got it right here, too. We'll listen to a little bit of it. Why not? But, yeah, Breaking Benjamin, that's definitely one band that I don't mention enough. You probably didn't know. Does Lee like Breaking Benjamin? Yes, I love Breaking Benjamin. I love Breaking Benjamin. I'll tell you what I don't like, and this is all personal preference, okay? In terms of rock, because I'm the I'm a rock guy. I'm definitely a rock guy. Um, I guess they call it. They always. It's like every few years they come up with a new name for certain subgenres. Butt rock. I um and, and guys, do you know what butt rock is? Have you ever heard of butt rock? And it's a term that the internet created a few years ago. Let me know if you know what butt rock is. What's everybody drinking? What's everybody drinking? Um, pretty much butt rock is radio rock and there's nothing I, you know like when tool gets played on the radio oh my god i turn it up I, i'm freaking yeah like my favorite bands they do get played on the radio sometimes certain songs by metallica get my uh my blood flowing there's nothing wrong with having radio hits but it seems like these days you they play the same stuff over and over and it's usually like saliva um, Limp Biscuit, um, Stone Sour, and, uh, you know, it's those, you know, those bands vary. I guarantee I can find a, at least one or two songs by those bands that I dig. Um, and maybe it's just a problem with the radio wearing them out, but also they do have to, they do seem to have the, uh, the, uh, same formula behind them, you know, it, it, just like any other popular music, you know, they call it like, um, I guess cheeseburger rock. You know, just, well, I mean, to quote Billy Corgan, it, he calls it porn uh, music, like hit songs, pop music. It's porn pretty much. It's just to get you there. That's all. That's all it does. You know, it, it's catchy. It's quick. And uh, it's not like prog rock where there's more of a, a journey. Right. And sometimes you want that quick fix. And sometimes you want to go on a journey. Now, somebody just asked me what my favorite album is. Um, I can tell you right now, my all-time favorite album is Lateralis by Tool. That, that's an easy answer. So for some people, it's a hard answer. But for me, yeah, that's definitely an easy answer. But I will say, and I might have... What's up, guys? You are at the middle of the video. Don't go anywhere. There's still plenty of content uh, ahead of you. But I uh, just wanted to break right here to say you are at Drum Bums Extra, my second channel. If you like my main channel and, and you're not subscribed, I would urge you to subscribe to this channel, okay? Because this is where I do a lot of my horror updates and whatnot i moved all that stuff over to here and it's more uh, of a live stream type feel I, I am working really hard on this channel just as hard as i am on the other channel you'll see at least three or four videos a week and most of it's like horror news topical type stuff got some rankings on there and whatnot the main channel is still the main channel but this is more for this type of content so anyway guys back to the video and subscribe damn it showed you guys this album recently but um, Lamb Lies Down on Broadway, Genesis. I have been in a massive, like, early 70s Genesis, early to mid-70s Genesis. I call it the Peter Gabriel years. I, I swear, it's like, where's this stuff? This stuff came out when I was born. And it's, like, all I listen to now. It's, like, so immersive and, um, you know, proggy, but not show-off proggy. Uh, just very talented music, you know? So... Uh, Lee is your favorite band, Kiss. Uh, Kiss is in my top 
Is it top three? Definitely top five. Yeah, Kiss is definitely in my top five. It's hard. Tool's my number one. Um, I, I always go like Joy Division, Kiss, uh, Silver Chair. I think those are the ones that I constantly go back and forth to. I, it used to be Dream Theater. I used to listen to a lot of Dream Theater. Uh, Mike Portnoy announcing that he's coming back to Dream Theater really got me. Because after he left, I stopped listening to Dream Theater for the most part. But now that he's back and they're recording a new album right now, boy, am I curious. Boy, am I curious. It's It could still be, it could be a bad album, you know. I think one problem that Dream Theater had, they're more of an organization, you know. And, and the one of the reasons Mike Portnoy left was because he was getting burnt out because they were doing one-year tour, next year album. Next year tour, next year album. And, you know, just rinse and repeat and um he wanted to wait like can we just like maybe wait a few years maybe like five years to put out the next album just to kind of pull back because it was starting to sound uh, like a machine you know so yeah um i do like a lot of those those 90s um i guess you could call them grunge type man grunge is a dirty word now hair metal is a dirty word now it's weird how these words are accepted these phrases are accepted and then they're you know somebody gets offended by them because they see the negative side of the word and then it becomes, but to me, I don't think of it like that. Like I think of grunge and I think of hair metal lovingly. Alice in Change is probably my favorite grunge band by far. Like Alice in Change, I think they were more metal than any other grunge band out there. Them and Soundgarden. I definitely like those, those two. I, I like quite a bit. Um, I like Nirvana. You know, I've talked about Nirvana in the past, but I definitely prefer Alice in Change and Soundgarden for sure. I did go through a big um, Candlebox phase. I was really into like Candlebox's first album and their second one. Um, but then, you know, like a lot of bands, um, it's hard to maintain that quality. You know, after two albums, a lot of bands, they start kind of descending. And uh, you, you, the next album, you might have a, a couple of good songs, but then it's just, it's not. Ooh, Bush. Bush is a good answer. I love Bush. 16 Stone is probably one of my most played albums of the 90s. There is not a bad song on 16 Stone. That is a great album, for sure. Thank you for mentioning that one, Dave. Um, oh, Toadie's Possum Kingdom. Yes. Uh, listen to, um, um, we've been talking about The Crow a lot lately. And um, the thir- the first three Crow movies Oh my God, the music is so good. Like those are three of my favorite soundtracks. I'm not shitting you. The 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 songs because don't you don't you hate like soundtracks that they pull songs from other albums and they put it on the soundtrack so it doesn't f- sound like anything new. Oh, I've heard this song and I've heard this song, but the Crow soundtracks. Most of the songs I think you will only find on those soundtracks, you know, and you got songs by Deftones and and Korn, and those are songs that aren't going to be on their their albums. Like Deftones has a song called Teething, which is one of my favorite songs by them, and it, I don't think it's on any of their other albums. Korn has a song called Sean Olson, which is phenomenal, and, and again, not on any of their other albums, I don't think. So uh, yeah, those first three albums are, are fantastic. I, 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 what was I talking about though? Damn it. See, I got lost. I got lost. You know, I got lost in the freaking bushes. I hate that. Oh, we were talking about toadies, toadies. So Crow City of Angels, toadies have a song on there. That's not on, uh, any of their other albums. And, um, it's called paper dress. What a freaking song. Paper dress is so good. That's a great song. Helmet, yes, somebody mentioned a helmet in there. I love helmet. Helmet's on the first Crow soundtrack, Milk Toast. Now, Milk Toast is on, uh, I think, their second album. I was a big helmet fan back in the day. They they definitely have a harder edge to them, which is cool. God, man, I'm talking about music way too much. I can't help it. 